the vast majority of those who have been transferred have not returned to the bow. Um, that said, e even one is a problem, and uh, so we are taking extraordinary measures to to try to mitigate the risk associated with transferring these detainees. We are committed to uh, closing Guantanamo. Uh, you heard the president enunciate clearly that one of the one of the explicit reasons uh, mentioned in very early recruiting material from Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula was the existence of Guantanamo Bay. Several senior sources now confirming to Fox News that one in five detainees held at Gitmo that have been, who have been released have returned to the fight against the U.S. or suspected of returning to the battle, according to these sources. That's a significant jump from April when the last report about recidivism came out. And two of them have taken over leadership positions in the uh, operation of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. That is the group in Yemen that is claiming responsibility for the attempt to bring down Flight 250 on Christmas Day. What about all of this and the closing of Gitmo? Let's bring in our panel. Steve Hayes, senior writer for the Weekly Standard, Mort Kondracki, executive editor of Roll Call, and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Charles. Well, when you hear Gibbs talk about Guantanamo as a recruiting the tool, this is what we hear over and over again. I mean, it's as if he knows no history at all. The list of grievances that Al-Qaeda has is endless and replenishing. Uh, when Osama bin Laden declared war on the United States officially in a fatwa in 1996 and 1998, the two top reasons were A, the occupation of the holy places, Mecca and Medina, and second, the suffering of the Iraqi people under anti-Saddam uh, sanctions. Well, there are no soldiers, American soldiers in Saudi Arabia anymore, and there are no sanctions, obviously, on Iraq, but the war continues. These excuses are endless. Uh, uh, bin Laden sometimes starts a speech by saying, in the name of Andalusia. Andalusia is Spain and Portugal, which was mu Muslim until it was, it fell uh, uh, to Ferdinand and Isabel in the 1492. Guantanamo isn't going to undo that. The idea that we ought to send people, when we have a, a rate of recidivism, of 20 percent overall, but probably extremely high, much higher than that, for Yemen and Saudi Arabia, who will rejoin the fight as a way to eliminate excuses, which are all that, that these are. These are not, these are excuses and not actual grievances. is absurd. The reason the war is on is because Al-Qaeda hates our way of life, our independence, our tolerance, our respect of women, and the threat it poses the, to the fanatical uh, the kind of Islam that they are advocating. Mort, uh, the administration, the president, has promised to close Guantanamo Bay, but has stopped sending Yemeni nationals back. Uh, nearly half of the remaining detainees at Gitmo are from Yemen. Yemen right. Uh, well, there are 200 remaining, and supposedly 80 of them are from, from uh, Yemen. But look, so we're going to have a stated policy that we're going to close Gu Guantanamo Bay. It's clearly not going to happen in o Obama's first year, as he, as he promised. Uh, it's going to be an indefinite, uh, probably never to be completed uh, goal of his. And uh, you really he, believe that it'll never be completed? Well, I, on the basis, where is he going to put these people? Thompson, Illinois. Well, uh, you know, you're going to put 200 people all around the country, maybe. Maybe but, so. You know, but but Congress, I don't think Congress is going to want them um, in the United States. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's a uh, not in my backyard problem. So I think that he is going to have this stated policy and he'll get rid of those that he can get, get rid of and parcel them out here and there. But ultimately, I think Guantanamo is going gonna, is gonna to stay open for the foreseeable future. Steve, here's what the administration has just told Major Garrett about this re recidivism. Uh, we have been presented no information that suggests any of the detainees transferred by this administration have returned to the fight. They've released apparently 42 two detainees under the Obama administration, pointing back to the Bush administration's releases. Right. Well, the, it's clearly a political point. I mean, at one point in, in March, when President Obama appeared on 60 Minutes, he criticized the Bush administration for being too lenient and too lax in releasing detainees from Guantanamo Bay. Why then would they exacerbate the problem by continuing to release detainees from Gitmo? It doesn't make any sense. Robert Gibbs said something else from the podium today that's simply not true. He said that there's nev there was never a plan from this administration to send back Gitmo detainees to Yemen, to a Yemen that couldn't handle these detainees. It's simply not true. Ambassador Steve Sesh, who's the U.S. ambassador 
in Yemen said, certainly we would like to be able to bring them back to Yemen and have them integrate themselves back into their own society with their families. He was talking about, quote, a majority of detainees and said that they could make a future for themselves here. When we reported that in the Weekly Standard, this is back in, in January of uh, 2009, January of this year, we thought that Sesha's comment was so alarming, we went then to the State Department and said, is Ambassador Sesh actually speaking for the administration? Is it administration policy to repatriate a majority, repatriate and release a majority of the detainees from Yemen? back to their country. And the comment that we got from the State Department at the time was, Ambassador Sesh's comments that you referred to lay out well, lay out very well the U.S. government position on the situation of the Yemeni detainees at Guantanamo. It's not very, it's not very difficult to understand that. So what Robert Gibbs is saying today, that there was never this plan to send these detainees back, is simply not true. One, one other point: If if uh, the uh, if if the Christmas uh, attempted bombing complicates the the Guantanamo situation, there's another complication. The fact is that the that the that the uh, Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula agent who tried to kill the Saudi in, uh, uh, interior minister did so with a bomb hidden in a quote-unquote body cavity, which complicates this whole idea that we're going to be able to stop terrorism by. Uh, by uh, having these uh, body scanners. And apparently uh, John Brennan, the counterterrorism advisor, was, was briefed on that particular uh, attack by, by the Saudis. Uh, Charles, wrap it up here. In the end, the issue isn't Guantanamo. But that's a question of location. You can ultimately have them in the U.S., uh, an abandoned air base in Alaska. Who cares? It's the question of defending the idea of detention without the trial. You do that in all wars, all countries uh, do. You hold and it may come back until the war is over. And you have to argue that that is legitimate. When o Obama denies that this is a war on terror, he takes away the legitimacy of that, um, of that stand, and, and thus he has to end up releasing people. Down the road, how big a problem politically is this for this president? It's endless and it's insoluble. It's going to be used against uh, Democrats for sure in the 2010 election. It will be unless he reverses himself. Democrats are losing two longtime senators. We will look at who's not running this fall, what it means politically after the break, plus later after this show, the online show.